from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room in Space. It's always a great time to play some Hyper Neo Geo 64. How about some Fatal Fury? Wild Ambition. Ambitious. The name of the game is Fatal Fury Wild Ambition, released for the Hyper Neo Geo 64 in 1999. Here's a look at the playable characters, and unlike a lot of the other Hyper Neo Geo 64 games, this one is actually available on something else, namely the PlayStation. I believe you can even download this one from the PlayStation Network, but you know what a download doesn't look like? It doesn't look like that giant metal thing in there. Hyper Neo Geo games are simply the best looking game cartridges ever. They, they look like they just fell off Robocop and play awesome games. And isn't that what you really want? Downloads can suck it. Bring back the Hyper Neo Geo. It's far more practical. I like my games to be made from titanium and feature a little Japanese dude in a hat fighting a chick in biker shorts. Now fans of the series may recognize that some of these characters are exclusive to Wild Ambition. My continues to defy gravity and it's obviously a 3D style game which many people just won't like. It looks like a glorified PlayStation release. And it kind of is, but is it worth playing? Well, I would say that if you enjoy fighting games, especially the SNK style, that uh, yes. Yes it is, and you don't even need a Hyper Neo Geo 64 to enjoy it. Whoa, my versus my. Oh my. My versus To be fair, I haven't actually compared this directly to the PlayStation release, but it does look and sound great on the Hyper Neo Geo 64. Smooth gameplay, predictable controls, and the kind of audio quality that I've come to expect from the Hyper Neo Geo 64, which is excellent. Like most of these games, it obviously helps if you know your character moves. If you don't, well, I just hammer the buttons until I figure them out. When your little bar at the bottom of the screen fills up, you can hold down all three buttons and pull off a super special move, or whatever they call it in this game. Even though I think the art design is very nice, it does look like a lot of games from the era like your Tekken or Virtua Fighter releases, except it plays like an SNK fighting game. I personally prefer some of the later King of Fighters releases with a thousand characters and the Samurai Showdown series, but if you've invested in a Hyper Neo Geo 64, or if you plan to, I would put this game on your list right up there with the other six games released for it, because there really weren't very many. And on that note, I do have two people to thank for this game. Lee from Durham, North Carolina once again, as well as Lee from Bucks in the United Kingdom, which I've been informed is actually Buckinghamshire. To show my appreciation, I contacted Mai and she'll be thanking both of you personally. I hope that's not awkward. Oh, uh, honey, there's some half-naked chick at the door with a fan who'd like to speak with you. No, I will not let her in. Mom. 
It's Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition, good music, and if you think it looks cool, which it is, and you don't have a Hyper Neo Geo 64, which you probably don't, check out the PlayStation version. It's a fun game, it's hard to say other than the visuals and 3D aspect what really sets it apart from the other Fatal Fury games, but it is a solid release and one of the few releases on the Hyper Neo Geo 64. So thanks again, Lee and Lee. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some more Fatal Fury to play before I get completely distracted by that metamorphic force machine sitting next to it. Oh, the intergalactic space arcade is a happy place. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender!